are we living in a simulation? No, um, uh, uh, because living in a simulation is precisely a case of there being a barrier beyond which uh, we, we cannot understand. So the, uh, if we're living in a simulation that's running on some computer, uh, we can't tell whether that computer is made of silicon uh, or iron or whether it obeys the same laws of computation like Turing computability and quantum computability and so on as ours. We can't know anything about the physics there. Well, we can know that it is at least a superset of our physics, but that's not saying very much. It's not telling us very much. So it's a, it's a typical example of a theory that can be rejected out of hand because um, for the same reason that, that supernatural ones, you know, if somebody says Zeus did it, then uh, I'm going to say, well, how, how, how should I respond? If I, if I take that on board, how should I respond to the next person that comes along and tells me that Odin did it? But it seems you're rejecting an empirical claim on methodological grounds. And I get very suspicious. Philosophers typically reject transcendental arguments. Like, oh, we must be able to perceive reality, because if we couldn't, how could we know that we couldn't perceive reality? But it doesn't prove you can perceive reality, right? First of all, <laughs> first of all that is a transcendental argument and therefore refutes itself. So that, uh, secondly, this, this theory about about uh, being in a simulation is not an empirical theory. It precisely isn't. If it came along with uh, a, a thing saying we, we are living in a computer and we can access the GPU of it and cause weird effects by doing so-and-so, that would be different. That would be a testable theory, potentially. So empirical. But if it's simply that we're living in a, in a simulation which we can't get out of, then... Uh, that is not an empirical theory. And it, 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 as I keep saying, it, 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 it's no more empirical than the theory that Zeus is out there or Odin. And I can't tell the difference between those three theories, not just experimentally, but by any argument.